A compelling detective story, a cloak and dagger action and a romantic drama, all these stories were taken from real life. The history of Kazakhstan is inseparable from the world history. Reflections on history, our version. Stone Book of Time. The unread library of the Or Altai, the most interesting specimen in its halls. A little less than 40 kilometers from Uskomenogorsk, Akbaur tract and the eponymous complex. These are pictograms, ideograms that transmit a message. It is coded in these signs. Signs drawn by paint and carved into stone. What did the ancient authors want to tell? To whom were the messages left? And why are these letters so difficult to decipher? Stone Book of Time, Petroglyphs of Akbaur. This is a sacred place, but it is also one of those places where it is possible to restore the level of knowledge of the ancient scientists of Kazakhstan and Eurasia as a whole. To explain what is happening in the territory, Akbaur must be brought into contact with the mentality of the people who created all of this. What they know is encoded in these signs, only they can know what they mean. We only can put forward different versions. Chapter 1. Sacred Letters The hand of an ancient man cut into the stone is human memory, his concern for near and distant descendants. This summer, like the last, was not so hot. The coming winter gave no hope of survival. He read it on a sheep's shoulder blade. The tribe was going on a long journey, but the shaman knew that people would return to these lands and continue to make mysterious signs. Most likely it was connected with some magical ritual activity, because what's the point of just coming here and hitting on this stone? A stone canvas more than a kilometer long, Sagir, Kamish, Kochunai, Bistirik, Aldai, a variety of techniques, graffiti and polishing, by choice of planes, horizontal and vertical, and on the time of creation from the Bronze Era to the early nomads. Even the dating of a painting, hence of Akbaur, is also very controversial, starting with the Neolithic. To date, only in the grotto Akbaur, there are more than 80 drawings, a boat, tents, mysterious crossings, grillies, shamantic figures of man. The main figure is the crosses. Points here are also encountered, some finished images that we can associate with a specific image. Petroglyphs of Akbaur, they are very complex. The fact is that there are not real images of animals and people. Figures are very interesting. Scientists are trying to decipher, and I tried. Samash have tried. Kurdakov, Ikonikov, everyone tried. But still the whole composition is not readable. The original was badly damaged by the time and weather, but its inscriptions can be seen. It is more difficult to understand, but the attempts continue. Hermitage, St. Petersburg. Tables packed with materials from numerous expeditions. Here are the reports of Akbaur's many years of research. We made a new drawing of Akbaur. We did not copy individual images, but copied the entire composition as a whole. And once the new drawings came to light, completely unknown, not yet investigated by anyone. For example, trees with a lush crown and fallen leaves most likely characterize a change of seasons. The most unusual symbol that I saw in Akbaur is the image of a dragon. I do not know of any other image either in Kazakhstan or in Altai. So what do these drawings tell about? The question was first asked in the 11th century and is still unanswered. Traveler and scientist Al Biruni first mentioned the stone scribes in the Kimaki country on the Irtish. 
Chapter 2, Underground Secrets of the Sanctuary. One of the largest archaeological collections in Kazakhstan is 60,000 artifacts, Regional Museum of Local History, Uskaminogorsk. Man occupies one of the leading places in the drawings, as well as various types of animals, i.e. all that surrounds him. This is a kind of transfer of information about the world around us and about religious, mythological ideas. Most likely, the most enlightened ones applied their hand to them. Most often, they were priests or shamans. Points of rock paintings, they were places where people came to worship. In some session, this image was drawn, then apparently the dedicated priest came back here, beat out some other images, etc. The composition could be knocked out both at the same time and during a long period of time, i.e. the shaman turned to the composition several times. Yes, and a place for rock art too was chosen not by accident. Not just convenient rocks for painting a whole set of accompanying characteristics. It is very important to visit Akbaur at certain points of the year. They are sacred. Points, when the position of the sun changes, the climate changes. These are the points of the spring, autumn equinox, and the winter and summer solstice. There is another peculiarity when you stand here. If you start stomping your feet, you feel it. Here, yes, you can hear a shallow sound. The archaeologists have not yet found outlets and entrances to these voids. There is a suggestion that they may be hidden inside a duplicate of the grotto paintings or its extended version. There could be something like a well. Yama, which is artificially knocked out and then laid with a stone slab. But so far, this has not been investigated. The hypothesis can be sorted endlessly. They studied the petroglyphs of Agbaur only in the middle of the last century, and every year new letters are opened. But the ones that were found long time ago are not yet fully explored. For example, Sagir. It is located almost in the village. There is a house, and here are the drawings at once. Territories strewn with drawings for three to four kilometers. The most frequent image is a mountain goat. Arhar is a symbol of fertility. And the most interesting is the dwelling of a witch. A hut on chicken legs. All the ancient calendar systems were connected with the moon, with some lunar cycles. And the image of the moon was directly connected with the third phase of the moon, when the moon is black. And it is like in the image of an old woman. And this old woman, she just lives in huts on chicken legs. Perhaps there will be other interpretations. There is no common opinion on many drawings. But all researchers are in solidarity in one thing. These are not just works of ancient art. Chapter 3. Message to Descendants. Reflection of the sun at a certain angle, stone signs, symbols on the rocks, all said that the sanctuary is near. On the approaches to it, the camp was set up. They paid tribute to the spirits of their ancestors, and the shaman went to the grotto to his other world several thousands of years ago, approximate reconstruction of events in Akbaur today. With regard to this hole, which is in the ceiling part and which has a heart-shaped shape, scientists also argue. Scientists argue about its origin, by man's hand or was it done by nature, and about the purpose of the hole, of course. There were some rituals, rituals of the shaman connected with traveling to other worlds. And from there it could still flow, sacrificial blood here. From this hole? Yes, from this hole. 
After receiving the blessing, the shaman remembered the signs depicted on the walls of the grotto. Was it clear to him the message of his predecessor? Probably yes. The language of these symbols was most likely understood by the initiates, even if several generations were changed one after another. Evgenia Kurdakov, a well-known poet in East Kazakhstan, he suggested that there was an ancient script here. It is called Boreal, created about 12 to 5 millennia ago. Among its authors are often called the ancient Aryans. According to some researchers, the 22 signs of this writing became the basis of all the alphabets of the world. The epoch of bronze is called the origin of writing. A way of transmitting information, you could read it. The initiates knew what the man wanted to convey. Symbols included in the Scythian inscriptions, recognizable in the Kushan letter and the Turkic runes of the early Middle Ages. Interestingly, almost all forms of runes are imprinted among various petroglyphs of Central Asia, Eastern Siberia, Mongolia and China. Some images, signs, they resemble Turkic letters. When? In what century was the ancient Turkic runic writing written? According to many scientists in the 5th to the 8th centuries of our era. The latest findings in Kazakhstan give reason to assume otherwise. On the bank of the Irtysh, a mound was excavated, which archaeologists unanimously dated to the 5th to 4th centuries BC. This version is mentioned even in the sacred scripture. Until the Babel Tower collapsed, there was a single language. On it, a message of Akbar was written. Allegedly, after the global catastrophe, the last ice age, survivors came to Altai here. In prehistoric times, the tribes and peoples inhabiting the trance of the Himalayas and the northern spurs of the Himalayas, for reasons not known to us, moved along the face of Eurasia. Subsequently, the settlers recorded a detailed route for the descendants here in the grotto. And all these mysterious boats, houses, in fact a map of the constellations and paths along the Irtysh to the lands where you can survive. This is just a version. During the Central Asian expedition, traces of the migration of the people by Rorik were found in abundance. This is a rock painting. These are traces of the unity of cultures in ornamentation, in clothing, in the types of housing arrangements, in graves, in languages, there was such unity. Such information has the property of being centuries old and millennial and passed on orally to attract attention precisely to such places. Scientists really recorded the climate change in cold snap a few thousand years ago. I think there is a higher level of knowledge than art. And knowledge is simply diverse in astronomy, in mathematics, knowledge of geometry and other sciences. Epilogue, Soul of Apaur. Sanctuary, observatory, a place for sacrifices, and one more oddity is acoustic. For example, it's enough to approach this stone and shout. Akbaur! Akbaur! Literally, in two steps, you cannot hear anything. The sound, as if by magic, arises in a completely different place. Probably it's not by chance that this place was called Akbaur's ears, because there are notches here, they resonate sound. Resonates the sound, the soul echoes it, the mysterious soul of Akbaur. The Stone Book of Time. Its pages were washed by rain, 
frozen in the winter, blurred in the centuries, and many eyes tried to read and unravel them.